In this video, we are going to be performing an open system energy balance. And the goal of this exercise will be to determine how the energy inside of our control volume evolves over time. And open is referring to the fact that we have mass flowing into or out of our system. When we're dealing with closed systems, we had no mass flow in or out. And the only way that energy could exchange with the environment inside of our control volume was either through work or through heat. But in this case, we now will need to account for the mass flow rates into and out of our system, as well as the specific enthalpies that each of our inlet and outlet streams now have. And what I've done here to uh, help illustrate this and uh, build a discussion is created a CSTR in which we have some species A and an inert species I entering our CSTR. We will have some reaction in which A goes to B, our inert species does not participate in this reaction. And then exiting our reactor, we'll have unreacted A, new species B, as well as our inert species I. And a point that I wanna drive home here is that we look at these terms HA naught and HI naught. These are the specific enthalpies of components A and B, or A and I, in our inlet stream. These are not necessarily equal to the specific enthalpies of A and B and I in our outlet stream because as we are creating reactions inside of our control volume, we are changing and creating new chemical species with different chemical properties. Therefore, the specific enthalpy of our system is changing. And these are generally tabulated values that you will need to look up in order to have a complete open system energy balance. And so to actually jump into the formula that you're gonna be turning to quite often, you will start with the accumulation of energy inside of your system, DE cis dt. This is equal to whatever energy comes in the form of heat into your system. And so we can diagram this as the following with Q dot. Uh, Q is positive if we're putting heat into our system, it is negative if we're taking heat out of our system, minus Ws. Ws refers to the shaft work that is being done by your system. So if we were having a turbine inside of our reactor, for instance, and we were taking kinetic energy out of our system to drive this turbine, we would be performing shaft, shaft work by our system and we would be, therefore be removing energy. So we would expect to have a negative term, a negative sign in front of Ws dot. And then now's the part where we make this an open system and we account for how the mass and the enthalpy of our inlet and outstreams accounts or changes the energy inside of our control volume. And to do that, we will say that we have FA naught moles of A coming in uh, per time times HA naught, the specific enthalpy, which is the number of joules uh, per mole of A that is in our inlet stream. We'll also have energy coming in through the enthalpy from our inlet inert stream I and times its specific enthalpy. And then we'll have energy exiting our system uh, in the following forms, where we have Fa moles of A leaving per time times its specific enthalpy minus the new species that we've just formed here times its specific enthalpy and then minus F sub I naught or F sub I, uh, their equivalent terms times H sub I. But the important thing to note here is that these are not the same because we have new chemical species in these streams with different enthalpies. And so another point I wanna make here is performing a dimensional analysis on this. So the change in energy, energy has units of joules and time has units generally of seconds. So we're looking at joules per second and this we also refer to as watts. So the dimensions of your open system energy balance are gonna be in terms of watts. Uh, another point I want to make here is that often in textbooks, uh, they will refer to things more generically as in the following where you have heat coming into out of your system, you'll have shaft work being done by your system, and then you will have some summation of I goes from zero to N of F sub I times H sub I evaluated at your inlet, and then minus, and we have to make note here that we may be forming new chemical species, so we'll have a summation from J goes from zero to M of F sub J times H sub J evaluated at your outlet. 
And so this is another way of writing the equation that I have above here. And so uh, if you can perform this, if you can write down this equation and understand what it is alluding to, this should help uh, get you some points on a midterm or a final, uh, as well as successfully perform an open system energy balance. I hope this video helps. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching.